Hey everybody and welcome back to Open and Shut Reviews. My name is Ken. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about this newest fountain pen that I got. And I'm really excited because it is the first limited edition pen I have ever purchased. And boy is it fun. It's the uh, new Conklin Duragraph Matte Black with Rainbow Trim Limited Edition. And it is fun. It's fun to look at. It's definitely fun to use. And I have to tell you, I was so surprised by so many things about it when I opened it up that uh, I'm very excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, so first of all, the videos and uh, photographs of this pen just don't do it justice. The rainbow is really nice looking, and that matte black is great. And that black nib is also a fun little addition. And this has one of my favorite kinds of converters, a threaded converter. So you can screw this into the pen and it's not going anywhere. So you won't have a nasty ink surprise the next time you go to use it. This pen is also very light. It's only 13 grams unposted and 24 grams posted. As far as ink, I decided to use the Liberty's Elysium because it's fun. And as you will see, this is right out of the box and it writes very smoothly. In fact, it, uh, it's probably one of the best pens I have ever uh, had just right out of the box as far as performance goes. It didn't lay down a flood of ink on the page. And I've had some pens, especially with this Liberty's Elysium, that are like a fire hose and it feathers all over the place. And it's... No, not, not so with this pen. This Conklin does a really good job. You can see you still have some ghosting on the uh, Clairefontaine Triumph paper, but again, no feathering and uh, the medium nib performed well. That being said, I still did decide to smooth it down just a little bit because, you know, everybody has their preference. And for this, I watched a really good video by Brian Goulet on how to use the micro mesh, just doing kind of like infinities or, or figure eights. But I learned for me, if I actually write words with it, it smooths out the rough edges of the nib in the exact way that I tend to write as a left-handed person, so. And then as you can see afterwards, uh, actually you can't really see, there's almost no difference looking at it. I did feel the difference afterwards, but again, this thing was really good right out of the box. So as you can see, it is a fun pen. And like I said, I was surprised by so many things. I was really surprised by how lightweight it was. I guess I didn't pay much attention to the uh, technical details of the pen. Otherwise I would have known how light it was, <laughs> but yeah. Very light, so it's going to be wonderful for longer writing sessions. It was not a fire hose when it comes to ink, and I have had pens where that uh, Liberty Elysium Blue really, um, really just gushes and goes everywhere all over the page, so I was really happy that that didn't happen either. And honestly, I had to do so little smoothing to the nib, I was really impressed with that. I mean, if you collect fountain pens uh, at all for any length of time, you become familiar with having to tune the nib, you know, make adjustments to it after you get it so that it uh, it fits you as, as it's your pen and, and everyone has a different way of writing. Yeah, this thing wrote so well right out of the box. And that brings me to uh, an important point, I think. If you go online and look at pen reviews, especially for Conklin, you will see a lot of negative reviews for their older style of nibs. If you have had a bad experience with Conklin in the past, I would recommend you give them a, a second chance, especially if you buy them from someplace like Goulet that has a, a good return policy, exchange policy. Again, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. I mean, pictures just do not do this thing justice at all. And I, I love the matte black finish. It's not a fingerprint magnet. This has been my favorite pen for, for quite a while. 
and uh, I think I'm gonna switch it out for a while with this one. This is gonna be my new daily driver. But with that, um, I can't think of anything else to say about the pen, so I will let you go now. If you're new here, please uh, do me a favor and hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Those two things do more for defeating the YouTube algorithm than just about anything else. Uh, if you're new and you like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I do videos on fountain pens, fountain pen paper, fountain pen inks. I do cooking videos. There are book reviews on this channel. I even have some older videos about different types of chronic illness pain and what it's like to to live with those chronic illnesses. You can also follow me over on social media, over on Facebook and Instagram. I've pretty much abandoned Twitter. Twitter is just awful. It's a really bad place. <laughs> so I don't do much over there anymore. Anyway, thank you for watching. I love making these videos. I hope you got something out of watching this one. If you know someone who's into fountain pens, maybe share the video with them. This might be a particular pen model that they haven't seen before, and, and maybe they'd be interested in that. Okay, I'll let you go. Until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care, be safe, wear your mask, and I'll, I'll see you later.